Hello, this is Matthew Miller from ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. I uh, meant to post a video and there's some technical difficulties, so I'm actually going to now shoot the video with my iPhone 3GS and using my new MyTouch 3G. I'm going to kind of show you the predictive text that we see on the, uh, the Google Android platform that I talked about. So uh, here it is in portrait mode. See the keyboard there? This may be a little difficult to try to type and record at the same time. Let's give it a try. So, type something as simple as the. And let's see if we can focus in there. There we go. So, as you can see, the bold word is over there to the left. That's the most likely word, which I'm now finished with. Let's just uh, hit the space bar and try another one. Um, so, as we start to type horse. You can see down here, which I'm actually typing is over there on the left side. The bold word is the most likely um, word from the three that I've typed so far. And then over to the right, we have more options, and I can tap the arrow and we can move and see more and more. Now, what you can also see is I typed H O R so far, and we can see that over on the right, they already have horse. Now, what this lets me do is I can easily just tap that and it gets inserted. So as you type on here, you can actually find out that some of the words will appear earlier than planned. So you can type or you can tap on it and have it entered before the other ones are there. Let's see. What else can I type in here? Let's say observation, a longer word. So as I start, I've got uh, OBS here so far. So what I typed is on the left. The bold is the most likely. And right now they're at observe. And then we got some other options there. So let me just keep on going here. Pardon that I trying to look around the iPhone as I type. So there we go. I've got uh, as you can see up above, I've got all the way to T and it now has predicted what I want to enter. So I can either <coughs> tap an, an, a word there, but if it's the bold red highlighted word, all I have to do is tap the space bar and the word is inserted. Okay, and let me just kind of quickly show what the landscape keyboard looks on like on here. As you can see, it's uh, actually a quite wide keyboard, very good for two thumbs, um, and then it has a little haptic feedback as well. And this works uh, the same way. So if I was to say something like typing police. Now what you can see here, there's what I've typed and most likely over there. And then we've got a long list of options. So you can see it's pretty, it's doing pretty well at predicting. Oh. Trying to type with one hand on the uh, big keyboard isn't quite as easy. All right, so there's police, policy, policy holder, and on and on and on, okay? Oh, let me go ahead and uh, enter my moniker here, which is Palm Solo. Let me go back to landscape or portrait so we can see what we're doing here. So, Palm Solo, here's P A L, oops, I gotta start back over. P A L. Now, surprisingly, you'll be like, whoa, Palm Solo is right there, the second one in. But actually, I entered that in the custom dictionary. So you can also set up words in the custom dictionary, and then they will be included in the predictive text. So I just tap that. Now what we can do for that is we can find those. Let's go to the home. And down in settings, go down to locate locale and text. And right there, you see, there's a user dictionary. Add or remove words from the user dictionary. You can tap that, and then you can enter as many words as you like. So that's a quick look at the predictive text on the T-Mobile MyTouch 3G, also on the Google Android platform. It's uh, quite advanced, I would say. And uh, I'm really liking using this versus uh, the iPhone keyboard.